So what's up guys, today we are going to be doing a quick watch review. Um, I've reviewed these watches before, so I went back and purchased them again. And I'm just going to do a quick review on these two watches, Citizen watches as you see by the box. Now a couple years ago, in 26, 2015, before I got my Mega Triple Date, which is my Grail watch, I had most of my collection was Citizen watches, and I've since then got rid of all of these watches. I kept my Casio uh, Pathfinder watch, which is there, my Mega Speedmaster there and my Patek Philip, my granddad's watch. So I kept these three, but I got rid of all my Citizen watch. At one point I had like about seven Citizen watches in my collection, but I wanted a smaller, um, since I had my Mega Speedmaster Triple Date, which is a 38 millimeter watch, I kind of went for smaller watches like my Seiko um, 5 watch here, which is um, about 40 diameter, 40 milliliters in diameter, which is kind of what I've been um, trending in my personal life. I kind of was going more for smaller watches there, but in saying that, I really missed my Citizen EcoDrive. So I went back over the last year and a half and I purchased two iconic watches within the Citizen um, world. So I'm going to go right into that and, and review these. So my first and foremost, I got my Citizen Panda face back. And this time I went full Sapphire Crystal from Europe. I didn't even bother with the US market. So I got Sapphire Crystal and this is the steel version. There is a titanium version that's an AV0020 watch, which is really hard to find. But I got this one. It's brand new in the box with, um, with everything. And the European boxes tend to be a little different than these square boxes here. So I got all my warranty information, my uh, citizen stuff as well. And this one came from Spain, I believe. It came from Valencia, Spain. So I ordered this one from Spain. And I didn't pay that much for it, actually. I paid... 200 is what I paid for this watch brand new and the guy wanted I think he had it listed for 400 But I talked him down and that's the thing with eBay when you buy watches on eBay Talk to your buyers before you put a bid in or before you um Hit that buy now button just you know haggle the price a little bit and see what you could get so I got this for 225 dollars with the shipping um, to New York from Valencia, Spain and this is my Panda Face Caliber 2100 Citizen, and it has the Sapphire Crystal, and this one has the engraved uh, Pro Master case back, which is not available in the U.S., and it also has Sapphire there engraved. Let me focus in so you guys can see. So there's some information in the back. That also has the Sapphire engraved back there, as well as Sapphire Crystal, which is flat on the edge, and it does not protrude past the bezel. Sadly, though, the Citizen watches um, from this generation do, does not have um, Sapphire AR coding, AR coding on the Sapphire crystal. So my Seiko 5 has the AR coding in a nice blue reflective U. This is just a flat, clear, clear glass. There's no reflective, um, I guess, uh, sparkle or U off of this crystal. But it's a really nice crystal. It's Sapphire crystal. You can't ask for more <laughs> than that. So everything is um, really nice in this watch. We have the brushed um, case body with a polished bezel there, the sapphire crystal there. The hands are a mixture of polished, and you have the luminescent um, flat white mar um, markers for the um, hands. There, the dial is sort of on this watch is a white silvery uh, color. The sub dials are black. And that's the sub dials and every black, um, the black on the face of this watch is where the, the solar, I guess the solar eco drive, um, cells get energy from the sun is the black, um, where the black is on this watch. So that's kind of cool there. And this is a uh, uh, quartz watch. It's not a mechanical watch. The chronograph actually has a sweeping mechanical automatic movement. It's a sweeping chronograph second hand there. And this is a 12 hour chronograph, which is really cool for a watch of, um, in this, uh, I guess, price range. So 12 hour chronograph, it is not a perpetual calendar. So you do have to set the date of the month every, uh, every other month based on the 30, it goes to 31 days. So you have to set it for months where it's 30 days. <clears throat> Six o'clock sub dial is the timekeeping for the second, and you see that's a ticker there, so that ticks away the seconds. But the chronograph, second hand, it sweeps relative to that timekeeping second hand. So you can see the difference there of the sweeping chronograph second hand versus the tick of the timekeeping second hand. So that's kind of cool. And this is um, 
also referred to as the Ron Swanson watch. And I re did an online review of this watch years ago on Watch You Seek. And I think most of the pictures I've taken down by Photo Bucket and the new policy of uh, no more hot linking until you pay a yearly subscription of $3.99 a year. So this is a hefty watch. And the reason I got rid of this watch the first time around is because it's kind of a big, it's on a big side. So it's about 42 in diameter there. And crown, it measures a little bit more at 48.9. The lug width is weird because you can't really replace it on this watch. It's about 23 there. And the class lug is a little bit tapered on this. So you get a little bit less. So it's about 21.5 for the for the class. <clears throat> there. And it's a lovely watch. And the thickness of this watch is quite thick. At 14.2 in the thickness there. So it's a nice watch. The crown is not a screw down crown. But it uh, has a nice pearl mask engraving on that crown there. So it's beautiful. You also have an alarm function here. So you push this button to turn on the alarm. And you can pull this out to turn the that skeletal red marker. So you turn that anywhere on the dial. And when <clears throat> the hour marker enters that skeletal housing there, it, the alarm will go off. And it's not a loud alarm. It's a little, <coughs> excuse me, it's a little chime. So um, that's it. This is a beautiful watch. It's my Ron Swanson watch because the character of um, Ron Swanson wore this in Parks and Recreation. It's a manly watch. It kind of, you could get away with it in business attire, but it is chunky. But I do manage to wear this to work every day. It's a watch that's easy to grab, put on, and go because it goes with anything. It's a really easy watch to wear. It is on the heavy side, like I said, but I have 7 inch wrist and it works well with my wrist. Put that to the side. Compared to a side by side a smaller watch this is a 40 my Seiko 5 is a 40 millimeter watch which is comparable to a Rolex Submariner so Rolex Submariner to that size is a little bit bigger but you could get away with it <clears throat> so next up we have an even bigger monster it's my Promaster Chrono Time AT that I just got this is one comes with the new booklets for citizen the citizen manuals there and again, these European boxes are weird. They're square and boxy. <clears throat> and funny enough, these boxes are different. So you see here. <laughs> you can see the difference between these two boxes. It's weird, huh? <laughs> this has the little uh, cutout there for booklets. And this one doesn't. So I'm going to put this back in here. So my Chrono Time AT, I just picked this one up. It's a beautiful watch. And sorry, it was doing something in there. So it's a beautiful watch. It's a bit bigger than um, than most of my all the watches in my collection. is much bigger. It's a forty. It's a forty-five milliliter watch. It's pretty big there, and um, it's not that thick. I don't think relative to. Oh well, it is thick. It's about 13, 14, about fourteen milliliters thick. The lugs on this watch. <clears throat> is about 24 so that's a big guy there and it does have a, I think it has a taper tapers down to 20 wow 20 no that can't be right tapers down to 21.5 there the bracelet is very comfortable to wear and that's one of the reasons I went back and got this watch it's a really comfortable watch to wear <clears throat> and it's packed with features in this watch you have automatic you have a perpetual calendar on this watch by virtue, by way of it being um, an atomic watch, meaning it updates every night automatically with the um, signal from Fort Collins, Colorado, to match the atomic time, which is um, exact time. So it always keeps perfect time, <clears throat> and it's the most one of the most independent watches in my collection. Meaning that you can leave a watch like this in your windowsill; it'll correct the time every night, and it'll charge itself in the daytime. So. It powers itself by day and it corrects the time overnight. So you have all the features of um, my Citizen uh, Panda Face Caliber 2100. And the um, designation number is H610. is the caliber um, designation on this watch. So you have the chronograph up here. And the chronograph sweeps. 
while as you can see the six o'clock sub dial has the timekeeping seconds that's a ticker so the chronograph on these watches is all sweep which is kind of cool so you have a a bit of a mechanical automatic watch mixed in with a quartz in there as well as the eco drive which um, requires no battery replacement and chronograph is not a flyback but it's a sweeper it sweeps back to zero and this is only a 60 minute chronograph it's not a 12 hour like my caliber 2100 um, lots of features in this watch besides the atomic time update it also has automatic uh, daylight savings um, time as well as a 24 hour time zone I don't know if I could uh, let's see how, how to... so the watch goes crazy when you pull that dial out because you can do different things so you have a lot of time zones there yeah, I'm ticking through I don't know what some of these are I think that's Sydney right there Tokyo Hong Kong Bangkok I think that's what that is so you have a lot of time zones to choose from. So if you travel a lot, Moscow, Cairo, London, Central Time, Rio, and back to New York City where I am. <laughs> so you have a lot of time zones. I think it's over 24 time zones to choose from. Sorry camera's getting really shaky um so you have a lot of time zones to choose from i love this watch this particular model because it is a nice blue blue dial that sort of depending on how you put it in the sun it could be light blue bright blue or dark navy blue sometimes it even looks black which is really cool um for a dial like this on the outside rim you have uh on the bezel and the bezel is all underneath these this mineral crystal glass Mineral crystal has a slight curve to it that's really beautiful. <clears throat> it's one of the better mineral crystals I've seen in a watch. Because of that curve, it looks really nice. Really beautiful. Similar to an Orient Bambino, the way the watch has a bell curve on that mineral crystal, the Bambino's crystal. So you have a sort of a slide rule on the outside, on the inside bezel. There. So it, this slide rule is directly from a Citizen Nighthawk generation kind of watch so it's a descendant of a nighthawk <clears throat> which is a pilot's watch so it is a bit of a pilot's watch and it also has a brightling kind of look to it the way the size and the way sort of the dial is laid out it looks like a brightling almost nav timer I believe i'm not even sure if i'm saying that right <clears throat> so on my wrist seven inch wrist it looks it fits very comfortable this bracelet is really nice and the multi-links sort of wraps around any size wrist very comfortably there so that's how it looks I'm gonna bring the camera up so you guys could see and I also reviewed this watch a couple years ago um, not in HD definition but it's on YouTube you could go back to my channel and, and find a review of this watch from maybe <clears throat> maybe seven years or seven six years ago so and again this is the third time I'm buying this watch so each time I actually flipped it or got rid of it and missed it and then bought it back but I think this time I'm keeping this watch for good uh, and that's it I did a little different came outside in my backyard to do this review of these beautiful watches uh, I just got this one I did the unboxing kind of video a few days ago I put it up today so I figured I might as well just talk about this watch a little bit highly recommend getting these watch I managed to get this one brand new online so and it's rare to get a watch like this because it's out of production and a newer version that citizen make of this watch is not as um it's not as beautiful and classic looking as uh as this one is and compared to a diver every watch has its own language so the diver has its own language a pilot's watch has the complications there the detail and then it's a classic look um the diver has a classic look to it and then my panda face watch which is sulking inside its box you know it's his, it's his own watch here too so all these watches have their own personality um, these two are more le mainly weekend or Friday watches this I could wear to work um, but they all have the different personalities and that's one thing with collecting watches you want watches with their own personality um, so to speak so it's kind of cool to discuss this and um, have a good summer guys i'm gonna do a couple more reviews um bmw stuff and i think that's it for watch collecting i'm done with the watch collecting i think i've gotten all the watch next watch i probably may get is a rolex but um 
It's a beautiful day. It's the weekend after 4th of July. And um, just chilling in the backyard here. Alright guys, peace out.